So I'm here at the site of the former Alfred Murrah uh, Federal Building here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. If you're like me and you grew up in the 90s, uh, you probably remember where you were when you heard about this, but you know, right behind me between those two trees is pretty much where the Ryder truck would have, would have exploded. And these seats, these bronze chairs symbolize each person who was lost in the explosion. Uh, I'm gonna take you through a tour of the Oklahoma City Memorial Museum which if you're anywhere within 100 miles of Oklahoma City, it's worth your time to come and, and visit. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so if you're interested, feel free to, to watch this video and, and get out here and donate and support this museum if possible. Uh, it's really an amazing, uh, sobering experience. It was an extraordinarily beautiful April day. It was a beautiful day. The hearing is about to begin. Please join us in the Water Resources Boardroom. second floor. There was just this big empty space. When I reached the hall, I could see that there was there was no way out the front door. The rubble was everywhere. Was closer and closer I could tell that something really horrible happened. I smoke and I knew that it was uh, near the Y or, or the Y. I hollered at them to get the kids out. 
I saw her mouth going, um, but I couldn't hear anything. I saw her going like that. Having the children come to me. Non-critical patients. We have one patient. I heard down there. I was like, I'm working with a joke. We're taken to a Red Cross location on Lincoln, and also to the area east of the YMCA. They kept sending me to the YMCA. They kept sending your kids out into the adults, and then it, it, I finally figured out that this was the Y daycare kids, not the America's Kids daycare. Said, not those children. The children in the daycare sit in the federal building, and they said. There wasn't the one in there, and I said, Yes, there was. I just dropped my daughter off. There's someone there. My daughter's one. What she's with that. But I looked at the federal bill, and the daycare center wasn't there. I was completely, completely gone. It was at that point when I saw the front side of the murder building that my heart sank. I got pretty depressed about finding Joseph and him being okay. This policeman kept making me go. I knew I would never see the girls that were happening in my office in the meeting that morning. I just knew that. I could hear people screaming, and I could hear people running, it seemed like, on top of And I was kind of smiling, it was like an in my arms. And I laid Brandon on top of his chest, his his, his arms open, and he just kind of nodded to me. And he smiled, and I thought, you know, the bombing in Oklahoma City was an attack on innocent children and defenseless citizens. It was an act of cowardice and it was evil. The United States will not tolerate it and I will not allow the people of this country to be intimidated by evil cowards.
this is pretty much the spot where the rider truck was parked. This is the location. What used to be the Murrah building. And each of these memorials symbolize obviously a person who was killed. But they're in nine rows. And each row represents a floor where the person died. The small chairs are children. 